All right, so I went to go use my, this is a Graco X7 Magnum. Uh, I had it in a shed and it's about 20 degrees out. I don't, I usually flush this out with water, but I went to go flip it on. And when I first flipped it on, it made like a noise and then just popped and that was it. Uh, now it does nothing. So I checked the breakers in the house. I checked the outlet that's plugged into, it's not that. So it almost sounded like a fuse inside here popped. There's no reset button anywhere on it. So I'm gonna take it apart and uh, see what it is. I think these have an internal fuse that probably just, uh, it probably blew because the pump, maybe the bearings are bad or I think it was frozen because it was really cold out and it was flushed with water. So it probably froze up. Okay, so first you're gonna take these four bolts out. I don't know if you have to do that first, but that's what I'm gonna do. And these are a, uh, you're gonna need Torx bits for this whole thing. And these are, what size is this? A T30. So these are a T30, the four in the front. And just take them out like this. Okay, then there are two bolts on the sides here in these holes, uh, here and here. I kinda had to drill this out to fit mine in there. But if you, then I found the right, you know, these skinny ones, they fit fine. Uh, you need a T20. So there's one, two, three, four, five. And then this whole casing will split down the seam here. Uh, but before you do that, there is an also another eight millimeter bolt underneath holding it onto this plate. So take that eight millimeter bolt off. Then all this stuff comes loose. Again, T20s on the outside perimeter of the casing and a t30 in the front so i'm going to open it up and show you there's a little board inside all right once you split it open you'll see this little green board here with the soldered in fuse um, this black wire here i actually just cut because it was too hard to pull off of the chip um, so here's the fuse right here you can see it's obviously blown it's got the black on the glass and it is soldered in so what we got to do is basically just replace the fuse here but i got my soldering iron i'm not too good at soldering at all and uh, i'm going to solder in a replaceable fuse setup so just grab some nail clippers it's a little sketchy but yeah just cut it and you want to leave a little bit of a post in there so you could solder onto it easier um, it's actually kind of hard cutting the the fuse on the other side because since i did not remove that connector Right over here, you can see it's a little bit tight. Uh, again, I didn't want to keep yanking at it. It was really hard to pull off, so I didn't. I left that on there and cut the wire, and I'll put a wire nut on there later. But yeah, it looks like this is a 10 amp, 250 volt. So here I got this kit on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description where you can get this. Um, this is all you need. It's got the wires with the with the screw caps, so you can replace the fuse without having a do any of the soldering again so it's a kind of a bad job but i did a real quick solder right onto the connections here um i don't know if there's a positive or negative but i just soldered two ends onto it and right here is where you'll put the new fuse and you'll shove the fuse in there screw together and it's all good to go this way if you ever do blow the fuse again all you have to do is put a new fuse in this spot So yeah, I, think, I don't know if there's a way for a positive and negative side. I think it's all the same. We just shove it in here. It's spring loaded, so you got to kind of press it in pretty good. And it came off already. Wow. All right, so here I put the little chip back in. You see in this spot right here, it slides right out of that, that spot. There's an 8 millimeter bolt. You could take this housing off to slide it off easier. And there's our new fuse. Right here these are the connections just take a picture so you remember where they go put them just click them back in the same spot here's the wire nut that i put on before because i cut that wire all right so we got it all put back together plugged it in and uh hope for the best my solder connections are definitely not the best but i made sure i zip tied that so it's not jiggling around and hopefully it doesn't knock that solder loose or anything but let's see <laughs> That's it.
Hopefully this lasts. Now it should be pretty easy. If you needed to change that fuse, you should be able to just do these four screws, pull this plate off, and then change the fuse from here if it ever freezes again, rather than take the whole thing apart.